took the record and I brought it back. Welcome back, my dear friends, to Alan Wake 2, the final draft. Saga needs to talk with her granddad. We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain, but not here. The night's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm <laughs> your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? Alrighty. Well, we're talking to Tor in our heads, then. <clears throat> That's alright. Nothing wrong with talking to people in your head, even though you're literally standing a couple of feet away from them. You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family. Way before this horror story. <laughs> I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by, I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Mm. Tor and Odin are part of my family. I feel like there's worse families to be a part of, honestly. And yet, Tor may have been a shit dad to Freya, and that sucks. No one deserves to have shitty parents. But, you know, the past is the past, and most importantly, this is a fictional story. Not from the point of view of Saga and Tor, obviously. But from... Mine. And yours, dear viewer. Anyway. Onwards. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. I won't stop until they're safe. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Rhea never looked back. Hmm. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Well, they do. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. Huh. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. That's the other thing that sucks about parents from time to time, is they feel the need to keep stuff from their kids. Kids can understand a lot more than you give them credit for. Anyway. You know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. 
Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons are bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? Maybe. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An app. Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. Case closed. Alrighty. Case board. Cases. The story. <clears throat> Not the for later stuff. Area around an overlap is always flooded, which makes perfect sense. Does the overlap cause the flooding? Mm, maybe. Who knows? Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the dark places focus on art? Pieces of art to enter. Well, the first one didn't. It required a human heart. But, never mind that. The Andersons are immune, huh? That's actually really useful. Hereditary power, dark presence, no... Ah, of course, no, it's not rules. Will my memories change? There we go. The story doesn't affect <sighs> me like it does other people. Because of who mm. I am. Because of my family. The clicker, this is obviously there. Wake writes a story, the dark place makes it change reality, and the clicker amplifies that change, making it permanent. Makes sense? Well, I mean, they're rules. <laughs> Only Wake can do the thing. Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. And I'll need to keep an eye on him. The for later stuff is still for later. Fact versus fiction. Tor and Odin definitely do understand. They know more about the mind place than I do. They know me. Isn't some mental technique? It lets me inside people's heads see the truth. Makes sense. <laughs> Our family is not bound by Wake's bullshit. Tor and Odin are my relatives. The evidence fits with what I know is true. It's a lot to process. <laughs> yeah. Freya denied the family magic.
That felt Tori more like Gordon a whited mom lady thing, in my but place. eh. Thanks to their own powers. Tor and my father had problems. I'm curious as to who Saga's the father is. Behaved. I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. I'm not sure we actually find out in the game. I feel like I would remember Wait, that we're revelation. Into the story. <coughs> he had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. Yes. Make the right a right. Tor is here, in the overlap. Gotta find him and get the fuck out. Uh, I think we've already done that, Saga. And back to the story, because... Oh no, it's still for later. Okay. Alrighty. We'll investigate the previously flooded area, of course. Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. Does help if there's one person that doesn't seem to think you're insane. See you soon, Saga. First off, I have the FBC is holding now. Wake at the sheriff's station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake, and I have the Clicker. We have to work together to stop this. Casey. Do you read me, Casey? Damn it. Where are you, Casey? He better be okay. Focus, Saga. Get to the station. To Wake. That's interesting. I went to open this gate from this side and ended up on that side of it. That's really weird. But whatever. Manuscript page. Thank you. When Cynthia Weaver was downstairs at <coughs> breakfast, Rose snuck into her room. With all the lamps in the room, it took her a while to find the one with an angel. Luckily, the dream Alan had sent her had been very clear. Rose was certain that Cynthia would not miss one lamp. She had so many. Tonight, Rose would put the lamp in a shoebox and let it sink into the garden pond. That's what Alan wanted. That's how she could help him. The thought made her whole body buzz with joy. Cynthia knew the lamp was missing the very moment she came back to her room. She was overcome by grief. It had been Tom's lap, one of the few things that reminded her of him. It had not worked in a long time with the cord severed and the light switch gone. But there are other kinds of lights than the ones we can see. The invisible light of the angel lamp had held Cynthia together all these years. With tears welling in her eyes, she didn't see the shadow shifting in the corners of her room. That kind of sucks, because Wake definitely does need that lamp in the dark place. So, essentially, Cynthia Weaver had to be sacrificed so he could get out. Or at least he wrote it that way. He could have possibly changed the genre of the story and made it less horror-y. But why would you do that? 
<laughs> in all honesty, why would you do that? It's 1988. A face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared. The old gods facing something even more powerful. Something harder to define, even. Or, changing the perspective? Raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you alright, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. <laughs> ah, yeah, it should always be the left. Not sure why it should always be the left necessarily, but it always has been. Now. Ah, uh, this will be a fun track. Cult stash there. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure, no matter which way you go here, you kind of have to hoof it. And I'm not entirely fully loaded or at full health, so let's deal with those immediate situations because they are immediate situations okay is that a shadow wolf bastard I heard Or is it just Saga breathing heavy? Regardless, cult stash. Another cult stash? I don't know, I reckon you could probably get through that with some bolt cutters pretty easily. But in any case, I don't have the key for that. So, we won't bother. Unless, I just found the key for that. Yeah, I think I am hearing Shadow Wolf bastards in the distance. Ah. Here it is. <coughs> Okay. You can't hide from the trees. We are everywhere.
Take that, you absolute bastard. Less monsters. Ha <sighs> ha. <sighs> Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Yeah. Don't pretend to be anyone or anything besides who you are. Nine fragments. That get me a weapon upgrade. Four. The hunting rifle. Bullets penetrate the enemy's darkness shield. Aiming through the scope, Saga could see the flickering darkness that protected the Taken. Saw it waver and jerk. Saw a shifting opening in it. There. She fired. Sending the bullet through to find its way home. <coughs> Hell yeah. Now. Next, we have, um, we had a guest lined up, but I have it written down here somewhere. What's this say? Jim Figamore. Figamore? Figamore. I know that name from somewhere, but... Oh, the line's lighting up, so that could be him. Hello, you're on with Pat Main. Hey, it's Terry. I'm at the Elderwood Palace Lodge, and there's been a shootout. FBI everywhere. I think somebody's... Dead? I was working the front desk when bullets just started flying. I had to hide under my desk. Oh, gosh, Terry. <laughs> Clearly a bit of embellishment on your part. But it sounds like maybe Russ Hammond's been hunting quail in the off-season again. Quail? You're not listening. They shut up the whole damn hotel. And that's not all. I swear to sweet Jesus Murphy, I saw Alan Wake walk in before it all happened. Alan Wake? Now, is that one of Mandy May's kids? Alan fucking Wake? The writer. You've talked about him on the show. He disappeared years ago. Disappeared, you say? Okay, this is all coming together now. See, people are calling in about Winnie Davis going missing, but it sounds like they have her confused with this Alan Walker fellow you're talking about. Terry, you were there last Sunday at, at the market selling those cuckoo clocks when I came to visit, remember? Pat, no. And who was selling beef jerky in that stall next to yours? Wendy Davis. Davis family beef jerky. Now, how can she be selling me beef jerky on <coughs> Sunday and be missing since 2010? It's ridiculous. Wendy's fucking dead. I'm talking about Alan Wake. Jesus, Pat. This is serious. I'm trying to put the warning out. There's something wild going on. In case they come back. Okay, that was uh, Jim Figamore, everybody, and uh, he'll be running for mayor. This, uh, wait, no, that was, uh, that was, uh, anyway, that's our show for today. Poor Pat. I can't, I can't help but wonder if his cognitive decline is less to do with his years and more to do with the fact that reality keeps changing around him every so often. Because he's been here a while. Remedy could very easily do a prequel story with uh, Tom Zane. And Pat Main could be in that. Anyway, another manuscript page. Every night was bingo night at the Valhalla nursing home. Each time Rose drew a ball from the cage and called out its number, some of the residents shouted bingo, no matter what was on their cards. Yeah. Some of them sat mute, 
Their cards full mm, never calling out. My battleship. Some of them would try to steal the ball from her. Some of them would chastise the others for acting out. It was like hurting a clouder of cats. Rose didn't mind. She liked cats. She knew she was where she was supposed to be, with her little Vikings waiting for the hero to come. Tonight, the residents were restless, more so than usual. Ati was wearing Blum's coveralls again. <laughs> Tor stood by the phone. Too late. Rose saw the hammer in his hand. The garden lights started to flicker, the darkness and rain pressing against the windows. The time drew nigh. Alrighty, now, where the hell are we, and where the hell are we going? We're this way. Okay. Cool. Onwards. Battery! Thank you. This really is a very pretty game, though. Not so much in the dark place, but in the uh, so-called real world where Saga is. It's very nice. Well, maybe it's just Washington State is really pretty. The Pacific Northwest in general. I don't know, never been... But the games and films that I see set in such locations, very nice, very nice area. Still not sure I'd ever want to live there though. Although that's mainly because I like where I am. But we'll see. Things can change. Oh, generator. Did need a shoebox. Ooh, yeah, I definitely want to keep hold of that. Okay. Another manuscript page. Damn. All over the place. The 81st annual Deer Fest <coughs> was just around the corner. Everyone in Bright Falls was bustling. There were banners to be hung, pies baked, deer mass sold. Bright Falls had made the top 100 American small town bliss for its modest, rustic charm. The town expected a lot of tourists this year, but a shadow hung over the Deerfest preparations. The forecast promised rain, fearful whispers promised more murders. The police were on high alert. Sheriff Breaker had deputies patrolling the streets at night. Bright Falls was no stranger to odd happenings, but to cancel Deerfest? Out of the question. The townsfolk were anxious, their anticipation mixed with fear. People had restless dreams. The light seemed dimmer. Flood water pressed in on the town, and the shadows poured in with it. Yep, that will happen. Now, I'm thinking we've done an awful lot as Saga recently. 
we can switch realities and perhaps continue with uh, Alan's existence. So let's do that. It stopped me. <coughs> now. I had seen the title page of another manuscript. Return. I didn't remember writing it, but it felt familiar. Important. I had to find it. No words of power. Yeah, really have hardly touched Alan's story, haven't we? Hmm. Okay. Momentary break. I'll be back. Okay. Let us... Ah, we have to write. Nah, didn't want words of power. Plot board, no. Eh? Oh well, whatever he was going to say, he's not saying now. Let's get writing. I would write a new draft of initiation to reach Parliament Tower using another murder site. Scratch was reaching out from the dark place to get Alice. She was out, but still in danger. work now. I could take control, no more surprises. No more surprises, except this is the damn musical bit. just bopping there. Okay, let's do this. What have we got? Okay, so we've got revolver, we've got shotgun, and we have the, uh, flare gun. It could not be opened on the side. Well. Looks like we're doing this the old-fashioned way and going through the TV. Again. I'm getting there.
Let go. Okay, this is good. Ferry. He could write a new story like Tom's in before and maybe they'd be happy once again. Just one shot, one more chance for him to save their marriage away from the sea. Romantic 
Take that, you absolute bastard. Going back to the flare gun. Ah, I'm not going to lie, some health would be really nice right about now. some health. Kind of feels on brand for Alan Wake to be popping pills during a massive guitar solo, but you know. Eight foot solo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I saw him. Shit. Go old fashioned for this fucker. Okay. Oh no, not Diver's Isle. This place sucks. That's why we lost Alice. That's where he lost his face. <laughs> safe. Woo. Not so safe anymore. Okay, we're into the TV again. And Alan is thinking, good. that was weird, <laughs> but yeah, old gods of Asgard, man, those guys kick ass, all I can say.
Damn it. A vision. Ooh. hell am I doing? Where the hell am I going? I just went back on myself and that was silly. I feel like an idiot. Let's go back into the TV. <laughs> Come on, Alan. You know what you're doing. This place couldn't get any stranger. <laughs> Yep. It's 
Some say it does. That is actually one of my favorite parts of this game. It's just brilliant. It was all about me. This performance the Dark Place was putting on. But I had no control over it. I knew how utterly lost I was. The payphone was ringing again. The mystery caller was back at it. I had to find out more. Could I? Whoa! There's that famous temper. Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You... Oh, fuck me. Alan, 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 listen, listen. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember? Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her, and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh, man, this is what we're after. The Scratch can't have it. Our, our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. I left my room key for you. It's right there on the payphone. Remember, the dark place works in loops and rituals. If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. We go with the flow of this ocean. Catch you soon, brother. I think, of all people, Alan probably understands the rules of this place. The Ocean View Hotel. Better than most. A suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. Right on the money for the hard-boiled genre the whole city was built upon. Okay. Mission view is this way. Here it is. The Ocean View Hotel, my destination. A loop that delivered me back to the street. What did the mystery caller said? If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. That's not right. Yep. Only dream logic to lead me to the hotel. I look to the neon signs for guidance. Oh yeah, good point. Um. Oh. First off. Just. To see what's in the shoebox. Oh, actually, Alan is a bit unwell. And a wee quick save.
Feels like up here might be a good place to start. Maybe not, I don't know. Mirror Peak Neon sign. Where the hell is that? Right, that's it. It's just backwards. Okay. Yep. I just started going the wrong damn way. Of course. Presence was only a step behind me. Yes. Okay, where the hell are we? Ah. Good job, Alan. before it was too late. Too late again. Room 665, initiation 5. Well, okay, have some light.
damn reality altering bits. Steal this light. Ah, the music's going all music y on me. Never a good sign. Shit. you guys. I blame my lack of a flare gun. No wait, that's not what happened. After I killed Casey... Sorry about that, by the way, dude. Oh, he does have a flare gun. And flashbangs. Okay. First off, let's actually go down here. Which I didn't actually notice before. Although, maybe that's just for this... No, I died. So it couldn't be. Okay, okay, okay. This is the way to go, then. here now. And climb up here to where all these shadow bastards are. Just couldn't be bothered dicking around with them. 
And that is precisely what the flare gun's for. We can sneak past these few guys and into the hole and sneaking along further. Apparently I sing when I get nervous. Ah, safe room. Woo. <laughs> and loot stash. Okay, now. Unknown voice. We know who it is. It's Tim. Okay, up here then. No, you don't, you bastards. Okay, have some light then. Thank you. I mean, you're welcome. Or something. Maybe both. Okay. Apparently, that's not the way to go. Maybe it is, and I actually didn't need the light. Regardless, more ammo is always useful. The lights affected where the door led to. Well, I'll take that. And uh, let's see where this one goes to now. I could see the Ocean View Hotel. I was getting close. got four bits of light as well. Can't have too much light in this game. Where the hell are we? Okay.
No, I have a feeling that this is not where I'm meant to be. Yet. Or at all. Or something. I don't know. Ah. There's a dam here. Or knock back force for the shotgun, why not? Okay. Glad I found that. Now... First off... Unlock the shortcut. And secondly... Hey, Alan. Say hi to Tim. How's the memory doing? Sorry, who are you? <laughs> Kidding. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I'd be going. Okay, first I'm going to loot your room, as always. Oh, good. Health is always useful. Still got no idea about Wall and Door, of course. Why would you? Map. Okay, how are you, Tim? You, got here? you know, your disappearance from Bright Falls is still the only thing that folks talk about. Well, that and Deerfest. Is this where you ended up back in 2010? You know about that? I am the sheriff of Bright Falls. <laughs> or I was. Are you related to Sarah Breaker? She was the sheriff of Bright Falls back in 2010. Yeah, she's my cousin. I had a police sketch made of Dor based on my dreams. I sent it around and Sarah recognized the face from an old case file from the 80s. I moved out there to look into it and became sheriff after she left to join the feds. What was in the case file about Dor? Not a lot of details in it. A local man named Orland Dorr went missing near Cauldron Lake. Eyewitnesses claim he was struck by a bolt of lightning and just vanished. I never found any official records of a Orland Dorr living in town or anywhere. Huh. Another dead end. In the 80s, you say. Yeah, I think uh, the implication, 80s, bolt of lightning, I think Orland Dorr might be Saga's father. So Deerfest is still a thing. Oh yeah. Which yeah, is interesting. You know, I got zapped here right before it was about to happen. Funny, me too. Okay. Well, that's enough of Tim, apparently. Catch you later, buddy. Get to the ocean view. How do we do that from here? Ok, 
Okay. Have your light. Oh, that's handy. Not only a word of lamp, but a word of lamp that I can actually... Um... Reach. Yeah. Health boost. I honestly don't see why he can't just jump down here. Except he's not a jumpy boy. And this just leads around here again. That's the word of gun that I found there. Oh. This city will suck you dry if you stay here for too long. You'll end up a lost soul haunting the streets and alleys, a faded out shadow glimpsed by some other poor bastard on his way toward the same fate. Your broken dreams become a broken mirror, and the twisted reflection staring back at you with all the pent-up anger, regret, guilt, and shame was the monster you could never get away from. Damn, I think I need to... Uh get down there somehow. Aid. We like words of aid. Okay. I'm honestly not sure what I'm doing here, or where I'm going.
Okay, I think I've found the place. I've found a place anyway. Ah, uh, crap. Yep, yeah, no, got that one. That was the uh, long distance one. feel like I want to go this way first. Just have a quick look around. Guitar. Suitcase of loot. found an episode of Night Springs. The bar menu caught my eye. Pretty sure that's uh yeah. That's only necessary for getting the shotgun, which I have, as you can see on his back. Anyway, I'm going to uh Have another quick break. Now that I've dealt with um, <laughs> Jesse Faden's thing. Back shortly. Alright. Let's get on with this. see the sunrise somewhere where the sun still rises settling down buying a house fixing it up building a life finding someone it's a fool's dream it would all go bad and having let hope in it would be unbearably worse than this you can take the man out of the city but you can never take the city out of the man. Alrighty. We don't need that anymore. Try a new Ocean View cocktail. No, thank you. Ah. Oh. Okay. It wasn't the code to get the shotgun. Well, it might have been that as well, actually. But, uh... It's also the door code, 2550. I'm 
I'm sure that was something to do with the shotgun as well at some point. But 2550, I can remember that. It's easy, it's 2550. The second part is half of the first. The second part is half twice of the first part thing. I know what I'm trying to say. Or well, the first part is half the second. Whatever. We're in. Doesn't matter. Flubber through the doors. Well, this is room 665. The room was empty except for the projector. More games. Was the film a message waiting to be played? Well... It literally says, play me, on it. So I'm gonna go with no. It's not a message. Let's just leave and... <sighs> Alan, Alan, Alan. Become one with yourself. No one in room six six five to meet you. Here's what here's a meeting we prepared earlier. Standing still, or running, or kneeling. You're the one who's been calling me. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome to the house of Zane. The poet. The diver. You look like me. How the hell? Or maybe. You look like me, you handsome devil. <laughs> the diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker. A celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is return so important? What, Al? You, you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Dreaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room. 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 And 
That is how the magic happened. Enough of this bullshit. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratches. Your wife is safe. Back in the real now. <coughs> Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. <sighs> There's a murder site here in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. <gasps> Hello? Huh. They're all to us. If anyone asks, you were never here. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. An idea nagged at me. I could almost reach it. Featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get? He said, looking knowingly at the camera. <clears throat> I could sense the cult of the word in this, and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. Well, let's do it then. I would start at the entrance lobby. The entrance hall set the mood where everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. Have a quick look around first. There we go. Uh, we need to come over this way, maybe. No. Which way does this work? Ah, I need to be in there. Okay. Let's get a map of the area. So you were the <coughs> director of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. You were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, it will come. The pre-show ritual. That's it. Set it up. Start from the beginning. Alrighty. Pre-show ritual it is. <laughs> layers upon layers. A play about a murder cult? Infiltrated by a real murder cult. A forbidden play brought to life. The cult. Everyone is admitted, invited to the pre-show ritual in the ballroom. Well, we know where it is. Not through the exit. Loot. 
shit. Empty loot. Nothing more disappointing than an empty loot box. Wake. You guys don't need to see me. Quite disappointment. Ah, this bathroom looks like the one in The Shining. The place reminds me of it. The room at the end of the corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Something terrible would happen there. Would, but has not yet. Okay. Um, yeah. Something happened. Never mind. Is all good. The troop were busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed. The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. But I've got the key for 104. Damn it all. That's a door that I cannot open. Time to switch to the shotgun. We like the shotgun because it's a shotgun. Sorry, I'll stop singing about shotguns. But they're nice, they're useful. But I've never felt the need to own one in real life or any kind of firearm for that matter. Doesn't mean I don't appreciate them from a gaming context. <coughs> uh, weirdness in the bath, except not really. Well, that's a safe room. Okay. Let's be safe for a moment. Anything in the shoebox worth grabbing? Mm. All right. That's, um, awkward. And now I'm quite sore.
Please be something useful in here. Okay. Ammo is useful. point. Ah! Word of War. Very well hidden Word of War. Let's go with Flare Gun. 15 to 20% of max health when landing direct hit with a flare gun. That sounds like fun to me. Even if I don't have any flares for my flare gun currently. But that's fine. <coughs> oh, where are you, fucko McGee? I know you're in here. Sometimes Fucko McGee just wants to have a torch shined in his face. Sometimes it's that plus two barrels from a shotgun being unloaded into him. So now I have a bit more ammo. That's all I can say. Okay, so why is that arrow pointing back that way? Looked all through there. And 
unless... Huh. something in here? Perhaps. Certainly seems like there's something in here, somewhere. But what is it? Is it in there? I cannot open it! Is it the toilet? No! That is unlikely. Strangeness. Find the site of the pre show ritual. Piss off, would you? You can also go away. Well, this is a room that I haven't been in before. Which makes it a good place to go. Especially because we can do this. This is where they gathered before the blight. This is where it began. Alrighty. Okay, there's an echo in here. Let's go back to here and do it. Perfect. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. 
Did we summon the same thing? Tapped into something horrifying? It, it seemed like it was part of the play, but it wasn't. Does that sound crazy? You don't want to ask me about crazy, kid. A haunted hotel. Yes. That's a trope for a reason. <laughs> Let's give it a bit of haunting. Well, that's spooky as fuck. But, uh, at this point, I need to, um, stop this for now. I hope you've had fun. I certainly have. And, uh, hope to see you again soon. Farewell for now. <laughs>